All right. Good morning. Good morning, Des. Good morning to all the people watching Good in morning. the replay and watching live uh, this morning. Yeah. We're, we're having a breakfast conversation with Des about chronic yeah, yeah. kidney disease. All right, Des, okay, I'm so okay. excited. I'm so excited. I'm really uh, interested about CKD and maybe, uh, and about your book um, about the CKD. So maybe can you share with us um, about uh, the book? So I'll show the book. Uh, yeah. Understanding yeah. Chronic uh, Kidney Disease yeah, and this, how did you uh, come about uh, with this idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I would like to say good morning to everybody. Good evening to the other side of the world. I am Maria Desiree Cruz Valiasteros, the author of Understanding Chronic Kidney Disease Direct from a Patient. Ito po yung book. Yeah. I am a dialysis patient for eight years now. And I am a content writer for US-based clients and dialysis patient for eight years. And I, I thought of writing this book um, before pa, um, first year of my uh, dialysis. First, for my con uh, personal consumption only so that I could understand the disease better. But later on, I realized na Siguro dapat i-share ko yun yung mga natutunan ko and my experiences for others to learn from my experiences like um, uh, my experiences on how did I get this uh, chronic kidney disease. Mm, so that eventually the readers would prevent it. Kasi um, most of us know that this disease is very difficult hindi lang magastos, pati yung uh, katawa, like, magkakaroon ka ng uh, life-changing talaga itong disease na to. So, I had this advocacy na to share, the, to share my gained knowledge on CKD to spread and raise awareness about chronic kidney disease and to eventually prevent it. Sabi ko nga dati sa nung nag-book launch ako, di baling ako na lang, huwag nyo na lang maranasan. Kasi talaga, it's so difficult. And, um... Alright. Um... Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. The book was launched, the printed one, this one, this was launched last October 27. 2019 and then we have now an ebook version this is under paper cut books and uh, printed by hs graphic print so the the ebook was launched last june 10 only 2020 nung june 10 lang so okay. yun. all right so yeah um so first and foremost, um, guys, if you want to join the discussion, you can uh, put your questions in the comments so we can pull it up like Lou said. Good luck. God bless. Watching from Hong Kong. All right. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Lou. That's my friend. Oh, si Mami Sol. Hello uh, po, Mami Sol. Hello. <laughs> Mami Nikat. Mami ah, Nikat. Mami Nikat, yes. So yes. this, first question. Yes. Um, where do you get chronic kidney disease? And for those people watching, how do you prevent it? Ano ba yung pinaka um, main ways or maybe are there tests that uh, one can do or are there habits that people are do doing that would lead to chronic kidney disease? Paano ba yan? Yes. First, uh, how did I get the disease? The contribute uh, for my chronic kidney disease. The contributing factors are, ano, um, undiagnosed and uncontrolled the hypertension. Because 
before I had this hypertension na hindi ko naman alam na may hypertension pala ako. Second is the prolonged UTI. I have four pregnancies and this pregnancies, I had this UTI which is I usually ignore. Eh, hindi, hindi pwede yun, hindi maganda yun. Uh, my, my unhealthy eating habits, not drinking enough water, of course, and then over use of strong painkillers and ignoring my highly stressful lifestyle. Yun yung mga nag-contribute sa, ano, sa aking chronic kidney disease. When you say chronic kasi, dalawa yan, di ba? Yung isa, chronic kidney disease. Pag chronic, you acquired it through time. Through time. Uh, mula, maybe, uh, pwedeng maging mula sa pagkabata, nakuha mo na yung chronic kidney disease. Kasi nga, that this is uh, because of lifestyle. Kapag ka may bad habit ka ng, or... Yung mga pagkain ng mga unhealthy foods yan. Ako ang nag ang sobrang nakapagbigay sa akin nito, yung overusage of painkillers because before I had this very severe migraine. Okay. And uh, yung mga painkillers like yung mga ibuprofen ganun, yung mga, lalo na yung mga may ibuprofen napakalakas na makasira ng kidneys natin yan. Kidney is very, very important organ kasi it is the one that filters all the waste material in our body. So, very important siya. If, pag wala na yung kidney, wala nang mag, uh, mag-filter ng mga toxins sa ating katawan. So, very important siya. Uh, siya nga pala, bago ko lang makalimutan, Anton, very timing yeah. itong ating uh, discussion kasi June is a kidney month. Kidney month ang ano. Uh, wow, ay, talaga. <laughs> kaya maganda ang ano. Oh, maganda itong ating discussion Just about right. kidney kasi. Uh, kidney Question. month ngayon. Ayun. So, oh, yes. When you say chronic kidney disease, does it mean that your kidney is not anymore working or is it yeah, about... It's not... Oo, it's not working anymore. Like, uh, sa akin, um, only 5% of my kidneys are working. So, it's almost gone talaga. Nag-shrink yung sa akin. It shrink. So, it's no longer functioning. Kaya, dialysis machine is now my kidney. Kaya hindi ako makalayo sa aking dialysis machine. Um, I am undergoing three times a week dialysis. Yeah, three times a week dialysis for four hours every session. Okay. Yeah. Um. Now, uh. So, so it's compounding over time. Is there a way to detect it early? Kung meron kang yes. chronic kidney yes. disease. Yes. Mm, oh. Um. Yung sa mga laboratory test, you you should have a laboratory test. Maybe kung normal ka naman, wala ka namang masyadong nararamdaman. Siguro every six months, maganda yon Every six months. Tsaka yung uh, sa kidney, ang, ang para malaman if your kidneys are still in good function, yung creatinine, tsaka albumin, kailangan nalalaman. Tsaka of course, yung uh, controlled dapat ang ano, controlled dapat yung hypertension. Kagaya ko, ano, at saka bawasan yung paggamit na, ng mga yun nga painkillers. Saka 95% of dialysis patients are hypertensive and uh, diabetic. So why? Why they are the number one uh, dia- dialysis patients? Bakit sila yung mga nagda-dialysis? Ano, because of the medicines that they are taking, diba? they, they take plenty of medicine. Tsaka yung mga maintenance, maintenance, maintenance medicine. So, dapat ang solution na lang doon is to drink plenty of water. Drink plenty of water para ma-wash out lahat yung mga medicines na tinitake. Kasi basta may maintenance na, syempre, since si kidney ang nag-process uh, ng mga gamot na sa katawan, siya yung naglalabas, masyado siyang na 
nagagamit, di ba, kapag may mga pinaprocess na ganyan. So, yung, uh, yung mga yung mga soft, yung mga sodas, dapat iniiwasan din natin ang mga yan kasi um, yun, mahirap siyang pinaprocess ni kidney, lalo na pagka medyo may problema na yung kidneys natin. So, okay. So, um, the kidney, uh, di ba dalawang kidney ng mga tao? Ano ba yan? You can yes. uh, replace it or hindi na? Hindi na totally? Actually, uh, to get rid of dialysis, pwedeng magpa-kidney transplant. Kidney transplant is the solution para para maging nor- maging normal ulit yung buhay dialysis. So, yun, bec- uh, para sa kidney transplant is the solution para oh. hindi na magdialysis. Kaya lang is that is that an option niya? Ah, uh, too expensive. Yes, it It's really an option. Kaya lang ang problema diyan yung donor. Ah, uh, maghanap ka ng donor, pwedeng sa la- uh, living or cadaver, pwedeng namang pumila. Merong mga merong mga institutions na like hope, yung hope. Doon pwedeng pumila para makakuha ng donor, kidney donor. And okay. so So um and KPI Okay. Uh, just wanted to shout out yung mga ano mo, friends. Hi, uh, Charwin. Yeah, they are they are my classmates in elementary. <laughs> oh, ah, this is my this is from Canada. My uh, sister-in-law, Victoria Ballesteros. My yes. sister-in-law. Thank you for watching Ate Vicky. Then my friend also Virgilio. Yes, hello. Thank okay. you, mate. <laughs> Very supportive so, yung mga classmates ko. Kakatawa. Oo nga eh. Ang galing. So, Des, um, yes. uh, going into the pandemic, kasi we had a, we had actually a blogger friend na uh, who died, no? Na CKD rin siya. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he oh. missed, he just missed one uh, dialysis session. And yun mm-hmm. na, uh, si uh, the late Eric uh, travel blogger. So during this quarantine, paano yon? Hindi ka ba nahirapan, uh, you know, CKD patients? Do you have access to dialysis clinics or paano? What happened during the COVID? Maybe can you share us uh, your experience? Yeah, yeah. During the COVID, it is meron nga akong um, isang article sa uh, Coronavirus Chronicles sa Paper Cut Books if you want to read it. It is about the challenges, the extra challenges of CKD patients during during pandemic. Kasi uh, ako, I, I'm so blessed. I have my my own car. I I I could drive. I drive myself going to my dialysis center, and uh, our dialysis center has no problem. Naman, unlike other patients, na during this pandemic, talagang mahirap. Uh, siguro nababasa nyo rin sa news yung mga yung mga difficulties ng mga dialysis patients during quarantine period yung about transportation at saka yung mga double doubling gastos gawa ng ng coronavirus this pandemic napakahirap um ako naman so far eh I'm so blessed nga na hindi ako nagkaka problema masyado kasi nga I I could drive myself wala wala akong problema sa sakyan yung mga karamihan ganun kasi ang uh, dialysis patient kapag ka hindi ka nakapagpa-dialysis ng about three times so one week yun three or depende kasi congestion yan eh kapag ka hindi natanggal yung tubig sa katawan and of course the toxins may uh, una malalason na yung katawan mo kapag maraming kapag ka maraming uh, kapag ka maraming toxin na sa katawan at saka tubig congestion yon so it will give us heart attack uh, cardiac arrest ha- ha- cardiac arrest yun ang ikakamatay kaya yung sinabi mong friend mo na hindi na kapag dialysis ng one one day lang hindi niya kinaya siguro so ayun nag cardiac arrest yun because of congestion Minsan kasi pagka hindi nakapag-dialysis agad, yung tubig pumupunta sa baga. So, hindi maganda yun na ano. 
pagpumunta na siya sa baga. At saka ang isa pang challenge ng mga nagdadialysis ngayon, like for example, yung, yung mga uh, my co-patients, pag pumupunta sila sa hospital, hindi, ayun, isang difficulty yung hindi sila tinatanggap. Ang hirap umanap ng hospital na tatanggap sa ngayon kasi nga because of COVID. Eh, ang, normally, ang ang dialysis patient, meron yung mga symptoms na kagaya ng symptoms ng, ng sa COVID. So, ang nangyayari, napapasama sila sa mga PUIs, sa mga sa mga infected, akala nila infected, oh. syempre, sa respiratory yun, yung mga nahihirapan ng huminga. So, mapapasama sila doon. E, common, common ano lang yan ng dialysis. So, ang nangyayari, imbis na wala silang COVID, magkaka-COVID na sila. E, we are immunocompromised. So, meaning, oh. kapag ka natamaan kami, medyo mahirap makaligtas kapag ka yung mga CKD ang natamaan ng ng COVID. Oo. Ayun. And and uh, so how do you keep yourself positive uh, thinking about na you have to do this dialysis. Ano ba to? Ongoing na ba to? Accepted na ba to na ongoing three times a week moving forward? How do you keep a positive mindset uh, kasi just talking to you parang you really um uh, alive no <laughs> and uh, wanting to share this story and empower other people yes yes that's why my advocacy is to spread knowledge and raise awareness about chronic kidney disease yes, kasi as you uh, as you know many of the people are not so aware of the chronic kidney dis- disease what is it all about maraming hindi nakakaalam. So, I want to spread awareness. So, through my book, I want to spread awareness about chronic kidney disease para, yun nga, para ma-prevent. And, that's, uh, yun naman ang pwede kong, ano, eh, siguro, masabi na, I am so blessed na I am a positive person. Eto nga, at, uh, I have written a book that uh, I could bless all the readers that could read my book. So, yun, through my book, I want to share all the knowledge that I've gained so that if you are not a patient, you will be aware of uh, about this chronic kidney disease um, so that eventually you could prevent it. And to, to non-patient, nam- ay, to patients naman, they could learn a lot from this book because they they will be able to manage their disease. Gaya ko nga, gaya nga dun sa isang program na, na nakikita ko, uh, ligtas ang may alam. So that's true. I can um, I can manage my, uh, kunwari, heart attack, ma- mararamdaman ko. I know how to manage it. So, ayun, naiiwasan kong ma-ER because I know how to manage my disease. Kasi, I I learned about it and uh, yung pinag-aralan ko siya. So, w- pag dumarating na siya, alam ko na, di ba? So, parang I could save my life na rin, ganun. Oo. So, uh, what are the things that you had to do aside from dialysis um, to survive the disease? To survive the, the disease? Of course, by ano... Uh, doing something positive and I'm keeping myself busy so that I could divert divert my uh, my thoughts dun sa kung, kung ano man yung ginagawa ko like for example my uh, writing job so I, I am a an article writer so when I am writing ayun na divert na yung isip ko dun I'm not thinking of my uh, disease and um one thing more is, I could still be productive. Kumikita ako doon kahit pa paano, and to my mm-hmm. book writing also, di ba? So, ano da divert siya doon? At sana yun din ang gusto kong ma... Yung parang gawin ng ibang pasyente, ng mga ibang dialysis patient. Kasi, pag-iisipin natin yung sakit natin all the time, nako parang yun na lang yung iisipin mo, parang hihintayin mo na lang ba yung yung oras mo, gano'n. 
parang hindi ko naiisip yung ganun. Basta, I want to be more productive and help other people uh, to survive this kind of disease. And to some, uh, to some of those who read my book already, they get some inspiration and I'm happy about that. They get some inspiration about my book. And aside from, they said that it's very informative. So they get a lot, a lot from it and yun, they, they are able to manage their disease if pag nakita nila yung mga information about about those in okay. my book. Okay. Um, so may mga friends pa tayong ano, good luck, Chris. Si Ate Chris. Thank you, Ate Chris, for watching. Ato, co-patient ko yan. Ito naman uh, si Maribel. Hi, Maribel. Okay. Maybe uh, I'm an aspiring author also. Um, yeah. So maybe can you share with us uh, tips to write a book? Because I write a lot of articles, but writing a book is a totally yeah, yeah. different thing, yeah. right? How, yeah. how were you able to conquer this ano, milestone? Yeah. Because uh, uh, during the first year of my sickness, Yon, I, I research, I did massive research for me to understand my better my uh, disease. Kasi nga ma mahirap, di ba? And then ayun, the, I I wrote the book well, from those researches. I wrote a book and I wrote my uh, experiences, my journey and how how I conquered this disease. Kasi alam mo, Anton, 4 months uh, the first four months of my uh, dialysis uh, journey, na depressed ako. I suffered the dinaanan ko yung five stages of grief. Yeah, na, na, dep na depressed ako, nagalit ako, uh, nakipagbargain ako kay God. So bakit ganon? Uh, kaya na depressed ako four months during during those times. When I am in our dialysis center, as I remember it, wala akong gustong kausap. I detach from my from my friends. I detach from everybody. Ayokong may dumadalaw sa akin. Ayokong may nakakausap. And uh, to some patients who are friendly, na they want to befriend me, I give them a uh, stern look agad na I don't want to talk to you. Ganun ako noon. Mabuti na lang na ano ko, na na-survive ko siya. Na, yung depression, na-survive ko siya. And then, I thought of writing this book. And then, yun nga, nakabuo na ako ng manuscript ko. And then, I was looking for, uh, I was uh, looking for a printer or an editor, some, someone who could help me uh, to publish my book. And then, uh, I attended some seminars. Um, I, I looked for some mentors, and then I found a cast of cast of uh, paper cat books, si cat and HS Graphic Green. So, nung I attended one of her seminar workshop, and then I uh, I talked to her. I approached her after her talk. And then I told her that I have a manuscript if she could help me uh, publish my book. So she said oh, she could help me self-publish my book. So yeah, that's the start. That's the start of my book journey. Si Kat na yung tumulong sa akin. So yun, na-publish na namin yung book. So ju uh, July 13, when I attended her seminar workshop, I submitted her my uh, manuscript in second week of August, if I am not mistaken, second week of August. And then we uh, launched the book October 27, 2019 at Eastwood sa Book and Borders. So almost July, uh, August, September, October. August, September. Two months. Yun. Mabilis siya. Mabilis si Kat na na edit niya and everything lahat na sa tuwa so, uh, na yun. so why did you choose uh, why did you choose paper cut versus the other there there are a lot of publishers out there diba there are a yeah, lot of I know 
Yes, yes. Um, naka, nag-attend ako diba ng ibang seminars. Meron din doon na mga ibang editors, publishers. But, pero, kat, kasi is very, ano eh, yung sobrang approachable siya. At saka, iba yung mentoring system niya. I like her mentoring system. Very hands-on siya. And, uh, she will guide you along the way. Lahat nung, at saka, she's very generous. Yeah, very generous also. Nang, uh, sa, hindi lang sa mga freebies, sa mga ano pa, sa, sa knowledge, especially sa knowledge. At saka, ito, we are, we are very grateful that, uh, we, pa- uh, she partnered with you. Uh, this is a very big, ano, Yeah, oh, kasi, uh, of course, uh, we need to help uh, each other, no? all the book authors. And I wanted to be inspired by other book authors as well. So, yes. question. So, for CKD patients, uh, for us uh-huh. na not CKD patients, what's the best way to support you or to parang to relate with you? Yes, yes. Uh, like me, you know, The support of my family is very important. And also my friends. I could feel that my friends love me. And that affects my ano, um, emotional emotional condition. Kasi minsan, di ba yung mga sick people, talaga namang dumara- ako kahit gano'n ko kapasitive, minsan dumarating din talagang nakakalungkot. Kasi... You know, no, uh, when I do not have this uh, CKD yet, I am always on the go. I am a very adventurous person. Um, my friends know that. So, kaya, kaya nung, ano, nung nagkaganito ako, parang naisip ko, um, makoconfine na lang ako sa ganun. Every other day, nagdadialysis ako for four hours in the machine, di ba? Nakakalungkot din. Saka, before, hindi ko na magagawa yung mga gusto ko. Ako, ano eh, long drive is my therapy. Whenever I feel sad or uh, there is an anxiety that that I feel, I drive. I drive. So that's my uh, that's my uh, therapy. So doon nawawala yung yung mga feelings of ano. But the support group, the my family, my friends, their support and their love that I feel is mo, uh, the most important. Parang doon ako lalong nai-inspire. Lalo akong nai-inspire. Kaya for those dialysis, the, for those who has, uh, who, uh, for those who, family that has a dialysis patient or someone you know, give them, give them your love. Give them your support. Kasi it could help. It could help a lot. Ka, yun mang yun ng mga iba mga mga ibang patients uh doon sa halimbawa sa mga pay, sa dialysis center namin some of them they are they are just so weak after the after the treatment kasi meron talagang ganun especially to those people na medyo may edad na um nakaka-weak talaga but ako They could see me. I'm just so blessed na ano, I could inspire other patients also kasi they could see me na after the after my treatment, ako after eating, oh sige, sakay na, drive na ako, uwi, ganun. Hindi mm. hindi yung ano talaga. Kasi mostly ganun eh. Lalo na kapag ka yung mga yung mga iba kasi Anton, two times lang silang nagdadialysis or One, uh, once a week kasi that's for the ano um financial reason syempre para makatipid kasi uh, as we all know medyo mahal magpa-dialysis diba uh, mag- ano, yung mga ano diba ngayon gamot diyan uh, Philippines Ay, it varies from dialysis center to the dialysis center or hospital pag sa hospital medyo mas mahal may mga 10,000 dialysis uh, treatment pa lang yung sa iba 5,000 ha Per, per session, session, yes. Wow. Yes, per session. Yes. Tapos yung iba, may 5,000. Yung iba, 3,000 plus. Mga ganon. Iba pa yung okay. ano, Anton, yung yung injection, yung mga, yung para oh. sa erythropoietin. Yung after oh. dialysis, 
pampataas ng hemoglobin, medyo mahal din kasi yun. Medyo pricey talaga. Kaya, kaya yung sa mga may ano dyan, sana i-prevent natin tong sakit na to hanggat kaya. Uh-oh. Hanggat kaya. Dapat Question. magandang lifestyle natin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Question. Uh, you said na your family and friends to show love. Uh, what are the gestures of love na touching for patients like uh, you? Love? Oh, yung ano lang, uh, they talk to me, tapos... Um, They show concern, ganyan. Ganun lang, napakasimple ganun lang. lang. Ako naman kasi, Anton, mababaw lang yung kaligayahan ko. Napakadali kong pasayahin. Alam Uh-oh. mo, yan yung, ano, yung, yung rules of happiness na tinatawag. Ako ang rule of happiness ko, mababaw lang. Hindi, ano, kaya, kaya madali akong sumaya. So, at saka yun nga, very positive ako na tao. That's good. Kaya, And at... Uh- And I know you work in the travel industry, eh. so and that's why yeah. parang you want to do law. So saan ka pumunta? Tagaytay, ganyan, Batangas? Travel Or agency. Ay, nung nasa travel agency ako. Saan? Hindi, ngayon. Iba, ngayon. Ibang bansa din. Ah, ngayon? You, you said uh, you're, you wanted to do long drives. Sa, saan ka usually pumupunta? Ah, pag nagla-long drive ako, be- before, kung saan-saan. <laughs> na Ilocos, ganyan, o Tagaytay. Uh-oh. Depende sa ano, kahit, kahit saan lang, mga two hours drive, three hours, ganun. Kung uh, saan ako, ano? Kung saan ka abot. Road trip. Mm, saan, uh, wh- kasi yun nga, ginagawa ko siyang therapy. Kaya Uh-oh. ano, it's my Wait, therapy. Wait, Leah, we'll say hi to some of, of your friends, of hi, course. Hi, Manet! Wow, this is, nasa Pangasinan siya. That's my Uh-oh. classmate la, in ano high school. Ah, oh, si Sarah Jane. Hi, Ma'am Sarah. This is ano um one of our nurses in Dolcon Dialysis. Ah, um, okay. Hi, Leian. Si si Lay <laughs> Galapardo. This is my niece. Nasa Pangasinan sila ngayon. Hello. Thank you for Love watching. Oh, Arnel. si Arnel. Arnel. Hi, Arnel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Mga yes. classmate to to ng elementary. Thank you. Ang galing na. Very supportive. Ah. So, I guess that's mm. really important. No? Uh, yeah, it's important. Um, so, uh, maybe moving forward, uh, what are the, do you have projects ahead? Uh, is there a book two of your book? Or yes, what, are, what are ko lang alam. Ah, your sorry. dreams uh, that you want to do uh, in the next few years? <clears throat> Yes, I have book two, matatapos na, under paper cut books again. Um, this book is uh, an inspirational book. It is full of encouragement, positivity, and inspiration. So, please watch out for my book two. Dapat magsabay na tayo dyan, Anton. <laughs> Ayan, and, uh, <laughs> oh, unahan mo ako, okay lang. <laughs> Uh, so, ano, for your ano, first book. Uh, project, I have project. Kasi yung book ko, Anton, um, buhat pa noon, this is, ano, a book for a cause. Book for a cause siya. Uh, with a cause, I mean. So, uh, some portion of the sales of the of the revenue, yung, some, yung proceeds, ano, uh, dinodonate ko yan sa mga sa mga dialysis, uh, less fortunate dialysis patients. So, I have this project, ano, um, read a book and extend a life. Extend a dialysis life. Kasi, I give, I give portion of the sales to dialysis patient. Until now, especially this, ano, pandemic. Kaya, yun sa mga bumili ng e-book ko, kasi yung e-book ko, nakakatuwa, um, They gave more. They gave more. So that is only for 350. But some of my friends gave uh, more than 350 para mabigay ko doon sa ano. Sa, yeah. yun, malagay ko sa project ko. na Kasi alam mo, Anton, sobrang hirap talaga ng mga dialysis patients na iba. I'm so blessed lang talaga na, na medyo medyo mas kaya, siguro mas kaya sabihin na natin, mas kaya namin. Um, mm. Pero yung iba, nakakadurog ng puso. 
kasi dun sa aming group sa dialysis PH support group, madami kami doon. Nakikita ko doon yung mga yung mga condition, yung mga sitwasyon ng ibang dialysis patients nakaka nakakadurog talaga ng puso. So I thought of that project yung nice. uh, read a book and extend a life. Yun. So nagbibigay ako, namimili ako doon ng mga ng mga pwedeng matulungan na talagang kailangan kailangan nila. And it talaga naman nakakatuwa yung nakakaano ng puso kapag ka nakatulong sa kanila. Kasi uh, talagang buhay ang pinag-uusapan dito, ma-extend mo talaga yung life nila. Na hindi niyan ko sila because I'm, di ba, isa ako doon. So, et, uh, lalo kailangan-kailangan nila. Diba? So, where can they, uh, if they wanted to support uh, the book, where can they find it? For now, they could avail it directly from me. Mm-hmm. Uh, either the ebook or the printed one. Kasi uh, we are processing it in the uh, for national bookstore to be ano kaya lang naabutan ng lockdown kasi nilalakad oh. pa lang namin yung ISBN at yung copyright naabutan okay. ng lockdown supposedly sa na baka by April or May pwede na kaya lang naabutan na so yun so sa okay. ano na lang tapos yung so how, naman, how do they contact you how do they contact you Uh, through, they could contact me through my page, Maria Desiree Cruz Ballesteros, Maria okay. Desiree Cruz Ballesteros, or they could uh, text me through 0930-387-3930. Uh, if they want to avail the book. Or they could just uh, direct message me in my uh, yun, sa, sa Facebook page ko. Pwede, or sa paper cut books, pwede rin. Okay, ulitin ko yan, ah. Uh, 0930-387-3963. Yes. Tama? Okay. Yes. Wow, that's good. Um, yeah, kailan mo ba yung pa-publish yung second book? Kailan ba yan? Um, nasa ano, uh, it comprises, ano eh, 15 chapters eh. Nasa chapter 10 na ako. Chapter 10. So, Depende sa bilis ko kung paano ko ba ito matatapos. Um, kasi minsan... May question ako. Work, kasi Next. three times a week. Oh, yes. Paano, paano nga... Uh, any tips for me? Uh, I'm struggling to write a book pa rin eh. But of course, magsastart na ako with uh, Kat, no? Pero any... If there's one tip na you can give aspiring authors, what would that be? Ah... Uh, Of course, the plan. Tama yung sinasabi ni, ni Kat. If you have a plan, gawa ka na ng outline mo. So, from that outline, hindi ka na mawawala doon. Pag gumawa ka na ng outline mo, tapos may plan ka na, hindi ka na mawawala. Kahit na mas stop, stop ka, magkaroon ka man ng writer's block, pag binalikan mo, nandun ka pa rin, di ba? Tsaka yung templates na binigay ni Kat, yung three templates ng writing a book. yon okay yon yung At saka ako, alam mo, Antan, pag gumagawa ako ng book, ang um, ginagawa ko, kahit saan ako nandoon, talaga pag nasa mood ako, mag, mag-music ako, yun ang pinaka natutunan kong style. Ikaw pwede okay. kang gumawa ng style na gusto mo. Uh, pag nag-music Ay, ako, kahit gano'n sila kaina. Yeah, yeah. Kahit, ano, basta may naririnig ka lang para hindi ka na i-storbo sa sound sa paligid mo, gano'n. Yung oh. sinasabi, yung sa NLP, sabi nung isang mentor ni Kat, yung ano, yung anchoring daw, anchoring. Mm-hmm. Anchoring. Yung yeah, i-anchor mo na yung sarili mo dun sa ano, sa ginagawa mo ganyan, o oh, gano'n. Tapos yung plan, very important yan. Pagka nasa isip mo lang, hindi mo ginagawa yung plan mo, hindi mo mm-hmm. uh, wala kang planong... Basta yung outline, kasama nun yung plan, ayun, mm-hmm. matatapos mo agad yan. Biruin mo yun sa akin, no? Two months lang. Ikaw, kayang-kaya mo yan. Oh, two months. <laughs> Mga, is, baka isang buwan lang sa'yo. Oh, okay. Well, sige, sige. Oh, thank you, thank you for the support. Yun, no. So, anyway, we'll get some of the... We're so proud of you from Lay, of course. Si Lay, yeah. And Lou said, um, yes, yeah, si Lou, hi Lou, nasa Hong Kong yan. <laughs> They are watching. Uh, They, uh, she's my classmate. Nung elementary. Mm. Oo. 
Thank you All mga right. classmates. Very supportive right. sila. Yeah. So, um let's uh, close this discussion. Uh, any final thoughts to uh, people who wala pang CKD or people undergoing it and uh, for those people uh, I guess um, experiencing uh, some problems especially during this COVID season uh, any final message? Yeah um, to those who are uh, who are not yet a patient uh, for everybody uh, take care of yourself of course drink plenty of water Kasi that is very important to wash out all the toxins in the body. Uh, take care of your kidney. It's kidney month, so let us be. Let's have uh, let's have an awareness about chronic kidney disease. Sana I, I, I do not wish this to happen to anyone. So kung pwede ng ako na lang, sa akin na lang, ako na lang yung ano sa inyo. Sagot ko na kayo, kasi. This is very this is a very difficult disease. So <clears throat> your lifestyle, please watch out your lifestyle. Uh the food you intake. Yeah, please very be very aware of what you you eat because what you eat is will define you soon about your health. And also to those who are C K D patients. Um, you uh, don't lose hope. Always be positive, and uh, for those family that are that has a CKD patient, please support your your uh, patient, your family, your the member of the family who has CKD, and show your love to them. Kasi yun ang nakakapagpalakas sa kanila. Yun yung nakakapagpatuloy. Nagbibigay ng inspirasyon para magpatuloy ang isang uh, si KD patient. Yung support ninyo. And uh, uh, thank you for the love. Ayun na nga. Thank you for the love. At saka sana mabasa ninyo yung aking book para ano, para uh, you will be more aware of what is this chronic kidney disease. And also, this is a, a very inspirational book also, aside from informative. So, yun, Anton, and uh, I thank you very much for inviting me here. Thank you yes. very much for inviting me, and uh, uh, yun, thank you. I'm looking thank forward you. to your book also. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, thank you for having this discussion and for meeting you. I guess uh, this is the first time we're meeting also. Uh, and it's an honor to be part of the uh, book author group. Uh, ang gagaling ng mga, <laughs> mga tao and very inspirational. Um, and you come across as humble also. Galing, galing. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, good luck you. to your second book. Pag lumabas, yes. we'll do another interview. Ah. Yeah. Sa, uh-huh. gusto kitang bigyan nito, Anton. How can I give you? Sige, I'll, I'll message you. Yeah, oh, yeah, I want to. Me. Kasi, ano nga eh, uh, I had some friends before and then, syempre, um, because of our lifestyle now and COVID then ganyan, kailangan talaga lahat yan uh, aayusin mo, di ba? Or make uh-huh. sure that you're healthy. And drinking water all the time. So. <laughs> yes, 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 that's true. Oh, uh, alam mo kasi Anton ang uh, ano lang ah I would just like to add na yeah. kapag ka chronic kidney disease patient ka medyo abnormal na yung buhay yung mga yung mga alam mong good before Uh-oh. yung mga okay pala before hindi na ngayon I will give you an example ha oh, overeating of fruit dati ako fruit mania ako Uh-oh. so ngayon if I will eat uh, plenty of fruits nako oh. ikakamatay ko yon kasi ah ano bakit yes ano po, yung potassium kasi yung potassium at sa, it will lead me to ano cardiac arrest yung buko ah. buko juice di ba oh, 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 maganda yeah. yan oh, eh. sa normal na tao napakaganda ng ano ng ng buko juice pero oh. sa CKD patient toxic na yan nakamatay ko na rin yun <laughs> Oh, Ganon. Kaya yeah. napakahirap. It's so complicated. Kaya yung mga ibang ano, 
hindi na nakakaganda. Hindi naman sa hindi maganda. We can eat everything naman, pero in moderation na lang. In moderation. Lang. Paano pala yung ano, trabaho? Pati, How? Pati lang. Hindi ba trabaho. there's a discrimination for work then and I guess you're limited yes. to remote work? Paano ba nangyari sa'yo? Yes. Uh, uh, sa akin naman, hindi... Uh, no, uh, bago ako nagkasakit, I I have a tutorial center in our province. So, doon ako na ano eh. Nung nagkasakit na ako, nagbalik na ako dito sa Manila. So, nag up ko na yung yung tutorial center ko sa province. Ganun. Pero to some, yung mga, yung mga regular employees, bihirang-bihira na talaga yung tinatanggap. Like, yung sa... Like yung co-patient kong isa, teacher yun. Mm-mm. Nung nagkaroon na siya ng ano, nung nagkaroon na siya ng CKD, tapos nalaman ng school, eh nag apply pa lang siya nun. Hindi na siya tinanggap. Ganun. So, uh-huh. syempre, may, meron naman, meron akong isang co-patient, teacher ngayon. So, very considerate naman yung kanilang, yung school niya, yung principal niya, very considerate. So, so nung nagkasakit na siya, ngayon nakakapasok pa rin siya. Pero hindi na siya nagtuturo, nilagay na siya sa library, parang ganyan yung song. Uh-huh. Binibigyan siya ng some considerations. Kasi yun lang din yung pinagkukuhanan niya nung pang dialysis niya. Pag hindi na siya nakapagturo o nakapag... Wala namang iba ding magsusupport sa kanya na ano talaga. Diba? You can get support from your relatives, friends. Okay, magbibigay sila ng support, financial support, yes. Pero not all the time. Siguro bibigyan ka ng... Gano naman talaga, di ba? Bibigyan ka na uh, sa umpisa, syempre nakatulong na sila sa iyo. So hindi uh-huh. naman 'yun. So kailangan i-sustain mo ito, eh. So you have to make a way for your own din talaga as a dialysis eh, patient. Eh ano, uh, health insurance, may health insurance ba nagko-cover ng CKD o wala rin? Wala, eh, hindi ganoon eh. Pero pero uh, ang mga CKD Pwedeng humingi ng tulong sa mga government agencies like the SWD, sa mga senators, sa mga congressmen, ganyan. Kung masipag ka lang pero, men, ang hirap naman nun. Kasi, kasi may sakit ka na nga, pipila ka ng pagkahaba-haba. Kung familiar ka sa mga ganitong sistema sa Pilipinas, maaawa ka sa mga patients. Kasi, kasi ang haba ng pila. Ako, actually, ako nasubukan ko rin yan. Kasi, syempre, para ano din, naawa talaga ako. Kasi pupunta kami doon madaling araw, Anton. Pupunta kami sa, mm-hmm. kunwari sa DSWD, pupunta kami. Tapos ano siya, uh, napakahabang lines, mainit, Uh-oh. ganyan. Pero, yun, ma- makakakuha ka naman ng financial assistance. Nagbibigay sila cash, yung iba, yung iba naman for, para sa mga gamot, ganyan. Depende Pero one time lang yun, yun eh, no? One time. Once in three months. Once in uh, three months. Pwede kang pumunta sa DSWD. Yung mga sa senators, hindi ko nasubukan. Ang nasubukan ko lang actually yung DSWD kasi gusto kong matry din. Gusto kong ma-feel ano ba yung nararamdaman ng mga pasyente kapag ka ganito. Kung, paano ba, di ba? Para mm-hmm. ma-experience ko rin ganun. So, ang hirap, ang hirap kaya nakakaawa din sila. Kaya sana oh. mas mabigyan ng gobyerno ng uh, more attention yung mga dialysis patient na to. Uh, yun yung aming hinihingi sa ano eh, sa dialysis PH, yung extension na. Kasi Anton, ang PhilHealth ay nagbibigay ng free 90 sessions. Ngayon 90 sessions. So ilan lang yung 90 sessions by Ba, pagka three times mo siya gagamitin, three times a week, by June tapos na yan. By oh. July tapos na. Oh. Pero pag two times a, two times a week, two times a week, ano, uh, mga um, sa bear months na, September, October, November, December, wala na silang pang dialysis. So, kasi tapos na yung feel health. Yun, hmm. mahirap na talaga. So, ang taas ng mortality rate ng mga ganyang panahon. Ng ganyang Wow. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll pull up some of the last wow. comments. Hi, Revy. Oh, this is uh, uh, husband ng casting. Hi, Jill. Oh, ito isa nating ano, 
si uh, Jill Suzuki, uh, isang mentor in Commenting natin yan. Commenting natin yeah, yan. Sa paper All right. chat book. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Can we have one last photo Thank now? Thank you. One last photo. One. Okay. Two. Alright. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks thank you, for... Anton. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to your book also. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Thank you.